Good evening. And welcome to South Park Chat. Uh, I got to spend some time with the new South Park game this week, guys. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear about it? Yeah, tell me all about it. Yeah. We should, we should talk about it. It's I haven't a, seen it since right before E3 last year. Uh, the Stick of Truth is uh -huh. the one. It's the one that Obsidian's doing. It's an RPG. Kart racing uh, game. Yep. For Kart racing. Shooter. There's, there's a dating all sim. All the awesome South yep. Park games. Yep. Tower, Tower defense. defense. Don't forget the Tower Defense. I forgot the Tower Defense. Okay. Well, you messed up. Tell me the jokes. Explain the jokes to All me. the jokes? Yeah, tell me some of the jokes. Um, Just do them. Do you like racial humor? Yeah, you know, it's... Do you like gross-out humor? Okay, okay, not really, but... Yeah. But come on, give me, give me a joke. Do you like biting satire? Make it funny! Um, Jew is one of the character classes? All right, this one... Is that do? I thought you'd like that one. I thought you'd boy, be into that. Boy. Uh... <laughs> uh, I was I was happy to get to play this game because I felt like I didn't have a good sense of what it was because all the footage they had shown looked just like an episode of the TV show. You yeah, know what I mean? it's uh, yeah, it was it was always hard to kind of get a, a good feel for what that thing was until I saw it last time. And yeah. they they kind of showed some actual gameplay. Okay. But even then, it was like I mean, clearly there are RPG style elements in the game. Yeah. But it seemed like out of combat, there was a little, maybe a little more action than I thought there was going mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, there's a little bit of. Doing stuff in the world, sure. Doing stuff uh, in the world. Yeah. It's my favorite genre. You know, of I mean, it's, it's almost adventure in a way. Like yeah. you're, you're yes, finding, you are finding, finding obstacles, use item on yeah, thing to yeah. proceed. A little bit. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I got to play like two hours, right, from the title screen. Like I made a character mm. and just started the game. They actually Did you put make out. a Jew? No, I didn't. I felt. Mm feel right somehow mm -hmm. um, what uh, what was the what class did you make what uh, it was just fighter mage and thief or the other three. Oh, mm. and you I figured it'd be like pasta mancer you know, no no it's, it's like totally serious okay they take their fantasy tropes seriously sure uh, so they put out uh, the first 13 minutes of the game mm -hmm. uh, actually after there's like a, a big long animated like almost heavy metal style like that style of animation oh, like kind of okay. highfalutin fantasy art weird uh, there's an intro movie with that and then there's like a really robust character creator uh so that stuff's not in this video but then it picks up right after that so so wait, uh, before you launch into your clip uh what what is the setup here like what is the stick of truth and uh what's the, what's the story I, it's it's a macguffin okay it's a it's a do you have the macguffin it's the power object it's okay. the thing you have to protect and then you have to get it back when it's taken okay it lets you rule the universe i don't know Sounds power, great. Power objects. It's dumb, yeah. it's dumb, it's dumb kids. I love power objects. Playing. No, I know you do. Uh, well, you did bring a clip? I did bring an extensive clip. Yeah, since this is like super dialogue heavy, it might yeah. make more sense for us to just kind of watch it. Yeah. Sure, let's just kind of run through it and then we can uh, talk about the stuff I played. Then dissect it. Yeah. Really pick it apart. South Park chat. Here we go. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. You 
shall die by my Warhammer, Drow Elf. Nuh-uh. I banish thee to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Haha, <laughs> you can't hold out much longer. Help, somebody. I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. <laughs> my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Do you like Colorado? All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Welcome to the KKK Douchebag to Jew, who probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Ah, a lovely purchase. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. what I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn, like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Oh! Oh, shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Yeah! No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. Ah. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your Jew ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. 
What? I was going easy. Take this! Worthy douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The stick of truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Oh, you want some of this? Yeah. Aye. Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! Douchebag, potions will heal you. Here. We'll say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Suck it! Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Ooh. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Do this, douchebag. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Ah! Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Ooh. That's it. Now finish him. Yes! Awesome, dude! 
take that, you asshole elves. Better luck next time. Na 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 na. We still control the universe. <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, this new kid may be a douchebag, but he sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! I guess that's it. That's where it ends? That's where it ends. What a cliffhanger. Yep, totally. Is, is that where you picked up? Uh, well, I mean, I started before that. I mm. made a character mm. before that sequence, and then uh, they, they turn you loose to just roam around the town and start doing quests at that point. What sort of, uh, when you're creating a character, what sort of options do you like have? Tons just, like tons of I mean, stuff? Or? You could pretty much build any South Parky looking character that you could think of. Like, you know, there's probably a couple dozen, like, hairstyles, clothing, like, but outfits. But you're just building the physical stuff, because your class selection's right there, right? Are you distributing points anywhere? No, no, yeah, yeah, it's just, of... just the appearance. Okay. Um, but, yeah, tons of hairstyles and, and facial, like, uh, not, not expressions, but, you know, kind of eye configurations. Right. And just, like, it, it's, it's pretty robust. You can make them look pretty much however you want. Cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that gave a better idea of kind of... What the combat's like and what moving around in the world is like, you know. I mean, it, it looks like an episode, you know. Like right. They yeah. Nailed the look of South Park. Totally. And just moving around in the world, uh, which is really impressive. One of the things they don't really, uh, they didn't really show in this video was they just kind of mainline from like you know objective to objective. Like that whole sequence took me probably twice as long because mm -hmm. I was poking around in every. So like in in the in the house like everything that they, that is has a gold color on it is something you can inter interact with or, mm -hmm. or open like. Every drawer that has a gold handle or like door, like they use that as a cue to say, "Hey, you can open this and get in there." So like, that's where a lot of the actual funny stuff is. Like most of the humor is in like item descriptions. Yeah, like weird so, little... so like all the even even all the vendor trash in the game, which is purely it purely exists just to take to a guy and sell it. Uh, it's all unique for each location. Hmm. So there's like tons of like jokes in the descriptions on the items and stuff like that uh, that, that I thought was really funny. Um, yeah, I think then, that's the you know like the the humor on it just seems like it's yeah it would almost have to come from that stuff in, yeah. a, in a sense because i don't know that i want to play a game that is just like hey it's cartman being cartman yeah like that's i yeah i don't know i mean that's not the part of south park that i'm uh, super into. yeah like that's kind of what or, this intro is about but as soon as you're out there in the world doing stuff like it's just like you're running into all kinds of random wacky shit yeah uh, as you go from place to place i mean the how referential does it get I mean, how, you know, to, how many other... To the episodes? Like, no, to, just to the to, show? To the real world, I guess um, I would say. Not super duper. I mean, I, I only played two hours of it. Like, I ran to Al Gore at one point, and he gave me a side quest. Right. Uh, it Stuff was, like that is kind was, of what I mean. Like, yeah, you know, it was... Side quest was Man Bear Pig related. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I can't think of any other real world reference besides the Al Gore stuff. But, like... A lot of the side, like I, I'm trying to think of examples without just straight up telling you what the punchline to the jokes is, you know. But sure. like, like there's a there's a side quest where you are trying to pick up a delivery for a coffee shop that's like super hippy dippy, like like we source only from local pr providers and stuff, and mm -hmm. then you go pick up their delivery, and it turns out that they are putting meth in their coffee. Great, because you're picking up meth from meth heads, but you have to fight the meth heads in turn-based combat before you can get it. <laughs> so like you're fighting guys, and their health bars just say meth head. Uh, yeah, and they, they probably like they have abilities and stuff too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. There's that was the stuff that I saw. I you know it's been too long. I don't really remember specific stuff, but it seemed like the, it was the, those details. That's the stuff that I thought the, was really funny. It was really yeah, sharp. Like, yeah, like like those. I didn't even fight any other meth heads. They were just in that one spot. And it's yeah. like it seems like there's a lot of unique enemies all over the place. And yeah, like all of their special attacks were sort of like meth user related. Yeah, uh, I, I imagine when you're dealing with like this art style, it's probably. Easier than most other games, yeah. not necessarily easy, but right. 
uh, easier than most other games to kind of come up with a lot like of make unique, ton, tons weird of stuff, tons of different so, characters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like everywhere I went, it seemed like the all the stuff that was written into the details was unique to that area. You mm -hmm. know, like I was looting file cabinets in the uh, police station and pulling out vendor trash. It was like I pulled out a composite sketch of a cock and balls at one point. You know, just really stupid stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it just it feels like there's tons of uh, tons of stuff to find. I'm trying to find that shot of the map in here. Here it is. Uh, hmm. This is kind of zoomed in, but this is a fairly small section of the game. Like it feels like the town is really large, huh. uh, and you, you pretty much have access to all of it off the uh, right off the bat, yeah. as far as I could tell. Um, the yeah. edges of the map implied that like you'll probably go to Canada at some point, uh, mm -hmm. and some other places off to the side. But you know, most of it takes place in the town here. Uh, what else gets filled in on those tabs? You remember? Uh, oh gosh, um, I wish all this stuff was filled in. Uh, there's the friend stuff, like those friend requests, like you go around making friends with people and it's not just kids, it's like basically everybody in the town, like all the mm -hmm. characters you can think of, like I, you know, I got a friend request from Officer Bar Brady at one point, but nice. uh, friends are how you get perks in the talent tree. Hmm. Like X, you hit like X number of friends and they're oh, like, okay, right. now you have two yeah. points to put into talents and so you want to go around meeting people and, and talking to them that way. Hmm. Um, what else was in there? Uh, there's like collectible tab, you know, you, you were collecting chin Pokemon. Um, and then, you know, there's the, there's just the basic RPG stuff. Like there's the full on loot. Uh, mm. I wonder if, I'm trying to remember, didn't they, they went to the. When he got his staff loot interface at yeah, some point. They, they equip it. Um, oh. but yeah, you know, it's, it's full on RPG stuff. Like I was going around finding a whole bunch of other loot as I was going from place to place. And you know, like. Like, that weapon is a cane, you know? Yep. Like, it's all really dumb, improvised stuff. Like, I was playing the mage, and I got, like, a level 2 lightning wand, which mm -hmm. was just, like, a like an antenna broken off of rabbit ears with, like, a battery stuck to it or whatever, you know? It's right. Really dumb stuff like that. Um, Did you get to a point in your game where you had more than one party member? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Butters actually joined me. Uh, it, it seemed like it was story-related. It was at a certain point in a quest I was right. doing. Yeah. Uh, he joined me, and he's got totally different abilities. Um, and so you, you are taking their turns then too? Yeah, yeah you combat? control them okay. too. Uh, you know, I think that's what one of the other tabs is, is that once you've got a party member, well, you can go look at like, all their abilities. Uh, like he had all kinds of, uh, he had all kinds of, of specific like attributes and traits, as, not only as a paladin, but like one of them, I forget what the name of it was, was basically like everybody hates butters, so they're twice as likely to attack him. Mm -hmm. You know, just weird, weird stuff where the RPG mechanics are like tying into the characterizations, right. you know? Yeah. Uh, like it, the whole thing just feels like it was designed around all the like sensibilities and, and humor and yeah. stuff from the show. It's you know? a really cool idea. I mean, yeah. just to take like like have this ridiculous kind of traditional RPG story happening right. with all this improvised like weird stuff. Totally. Yeah. Um, like it, it feels it feels like they mix their weird fantasy tropes up with just like this, you know, small town right. really well. Yeah. Um, to the point where it still seems like it's it seemed like it fit yeah, pretty well yeah, when I yeah. saw it. Like all I, that, uh, it was it was interesting when I all saw that stuff it. works really well. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it's just it's fun to explore. I mean, there's tons of little stuff you can find. Like, like you'll roll onto a screen. Like I found uh, like a little girl was being bullied by these older girls, and like I ran up and fought them mm. in a battle, and they all ran away, and then like she became my friend and gave me a quest. You know, it just felt like felt like everywhere I was going, I was finding little side stuff to do uh, in addition to the main quest. So on this screen here, I got two questions for you. Okay. Uh, so you can level up weapons and like socket stuff. Is yes. that what's happening? Yes, yes. That you can get strap-ons, which are weapon okay. crafting, or they're sort of weapon upgrades. They're like, I mean, you find actual new weapons, but you can also like, it's basically like socketing gems or whatever yeah. when you strap something onto a weapon to make it better. Okay. Um, and do you know how you level up the weapon? Is it by using it or? Uh, I don't know that you can increase that level. Like I bought. It's like that might just be the level of the uh, weapon, yeah. not okay. necessarily. The I don't think the, le the the weapons level so much. In fact, I think that's a, a level requirement. I think that just means you have to be level one to use it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. In okay. fact, uh, if I go to the store interface, yeah, it showed. If, uh, uh, you can see there's more. some other stuff here that's got I see. Sure. higher levels. Um, this store topped out at level ten, so I don't know if that's the level cap or not. I think my favorite thing um, about all this are the prices. Yeah, it's great to see. Well, yeah, I thought it was really. Like, like, would, would you like to hear some rumors for two dollars? Like, yeah. like you're in this weird fantasy world, but they're just talking about you yeah. Know, yeah. dollars and cents and like stuff. kids' money. Yeah, like really goofy juxtaposition of the the fantasy tropes and the 
Uh, the little kid stuff. Also on that previous thing on that panel where you're on your inventory, it said you had a relationship status. Uh, Did you find a girlfriend? I, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe? Yeah, I'm sure that is probably a possibility at some point. I didn't get that deep into it. Do you have it, a love interest? Can you romance? Probably. Maybe. I, would, you know. I mean, like, they're, you know, they're trying to send up every other RPG mechanic right. you can think yeah. of. Like, I'm, I'm sure well. that's, I'm that's, sure that's in there, too. Um, Do you know what the, the, the rest of those... Inventory slots are like the mustache, the um, spectacles, and the mustaches might just be facial hair. Like those, <laughs> okay. those are all, there's a ton of cosmetic stuff you find. Like okay, you can make your character. You know, they picked the, the outfit that he had on was something they picked from the available outfits. But mm -hmm. then you're immediately finding other clothing that's mostly cosmetic, but some of it actually had some uses. Like I found a wife beater pretty quickly. Yeah, that I put on and it actually had. Uh, can't remember what the status buff on it was, but like the the you know, they make your character look different, but they also give you like yeah, some yeah. different attributes, which cool. is cool. Like the combat actually gets kind of challenging at some point. Like, yeah, I mean it's got that action element of of timing yeah. button presses and stuff that kind of like Super Mario RPG. And not just that, but uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of positional stuff. Like you can't really see it in this arrangement here, but you'll get cases where like there's this guy here, uh -huh. and there would be another guy here, and it's basically a row system where you can't target right. guys in the second row when there are people in front of them. Unless you use like a ranged weapon. Right, like so that. that's when that bow came into play that right. they picked up like halfway through. And it seems like I, I played the mage and I also got that bow, so I think everybody gets it. Yeah. Uh, just as a way to do ranged attacks. But yeah, like you would have to use magic or, or range to hit this guy in the back row unless you took care of these guys first. Hmm. And like you saw, they have like, you know, they're, they have armored and, and reposting and, and all these different like states they can be in where you have to right. deal with them a certain way. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like you said, it's, it's all timing based so that you're uh, if you're timing your hits at the right time, you're getting more hits in and doing more damage and yeah. like blocking their stuff better and, and stuff. How long like did it take you? I mean, did you feel like you had that timing kind of yeah, like locked by, down? Basically, by the, by the end of this tutorial, you that little flash happens on your yeah, weapon, yeah. so that's basically for the most part what you're looking for. Some right. of the magic ones are a little weird because they have specific animations, like like Butter, Butters had one where you had to hit it right when the lightning struck his hammer, so you have to like read the descriptions of the abilities oh, okay. to know how to do that stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, the combat actually was like pretty satisfying, surprisingly. Like, it could have just been something that was just in the way of you know jokes and, and dumb stuff. Yeah. But it's uh, it's pretty fun and like it was actually pretty satisfying, the the character progression and finding the loot and, and leveling up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hit level uh, uh, level three in the two hours that I played. It seems like the, the leveling progression is pretty slow. Hmm. Uh, they don't they don't throw combat at you constantly either. Like you, you and know. it seemed like there were there were a lot of cases where you could kind of just walk past. Yeah, it you too. can. Yeah, uh, unless it's like quest related. Yeah, uh, there often you can just run around stuff. And one of the things I saw is that you know, there were cases where you could kind of use items or use the environment to sidestep combat yeah. or take care of enemies that were in your way yeah. without actually getting into a fight. Yeah. And they made it sound like that could potentially prevent you from getting the XP from that fight. Huh. Interesting. Um, which you know who knows if that'll actually matter right uh, you know yeah one thing i couldn't tell was whether there's grinding or not because a lot of the encounters seemed like they just randomly placed enemies wherever you know right. and they could probably show up there again later right so but i don't, don't know if and fight again yeah but i don't know if they actually respawn later on um money isn't a problem though like i like i said you're finding vendor trash like everywhere you go mm. uh that you can sell is there an uh, inventory limit or uh it doesn't really seem it like it that i saw uh i'm not 100 percent sure i didn't get a ton of stuff I'm trying to find that inventory shot um, but no, uh, as far as I could tell, you could kind of hold whatever. Hmm. Uh, I, I was really impressed with it, like, just from, from the way it looks, you know, like, how, how thoroughly they nailed the kind of yeah. the look and movement of the show. Yeah. Uh, to, yeah. to, to, like, how kind of, like, how, how widespread the humor is, but also just how subtle a lot of it is. Like I said, you know, a lot of it is hidden mm -hmm. in different places. Uh, the music fit the theme really well, you know, it's a lot of really goofy kind of highfalutin fantasy stuff, but with like, you can hear like chanting in the background, but they're saying really dumb stuff, you know, things things like that. They've always been good at, at yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. It's funny to hear uh, them swearing again. I, I know, like. I was, uh, yeah, like watching it on TV, obviously you don't get that. I feel like that uh, might be the last time, you know, like I, I probably stopped watching South Park around the time the movie came out, so yeah. like, you know, watched that and they were swearing and then kind of right. fell out of it. I don't know, little kids swearing. Yeah, little kids swearing. <laughs> I don't know. Like up to a point. Like, yeah. like I said, like I, you know, that's Cartman was very big for a very long time. Sure. And it's I, it, that's not enough. Yeah, so sure. Well, like I said, I, I feel like they, I don't want to say they do this game a disservice with this video, but they do skip over a lot of the stuff that I thought was the best 
stuff that I saw in this game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, it does just feel kind of rotten with no, not really references to real world stuff like you mentioned, but like it, you know, pretty much every major character you can think of is going to pop up in some way in here. Like, mm -hmm. like just I was walking around town and like people. Uh, uh, people were like muttering under their breath about things that implied that like Mr. Hankey was hanging out in the sewers and stuff like that. Like yeah. it seems like you're going to run into pretty right. much every major character you can think of in some way or other. Huh. Um, so yeah, I mean like you know if, if you're not a big South Park fan, this game's probably not going to do a ton for you. Although you know the RPG stuff seems really well put together. Yeah. But if you are into this show, like it seems like they nail pretty much everything about it. Like it, it actually feels like it was, you know, written by those dudes. Yeah. That make the show. I mean, it kind of was. It, it was. It was. Well, was. I'm saying it's evident that it yeah, was. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, there have been other South Park games in the last few years that. Maybe not in the last few years, but uh, you know, you take a long view of South Park games. Well, whatever. I guess there was that. There was that Tenderman's Revenge yeah, a year or two was, ago that, that was, was not good. And like I liked that tower defense game, but it was sort of like the, the South Parkiness of it was kind of whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, this this is recreating the show. But man, those N60, those acclaim games yeah. were fucking foul. Yeah, I believe it. Well, you know, that was the era of making shitty Simpsons games and yeah, yeah. everything based on TV. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really impressed with what I've seen of this game. Like, I'm, I'm dying to play the rest of it. Uh, so. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's funny we had to kind of move away from 3D to get it to look more like the show, you know, like, hey, walk it back a bit, right? Let's flatten yeah, everything out, yeah. make it two D. Just make it look like the show. Come on, uh, you can do this. But it, it, it is all three D, right? Isn't that the big the big secret? Don't they well, do they, this all in like Maya or they something? Do it, yeah, they do it all in like Maya and stuff like that. But I don't Crazy. know if they're actual three D models. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, how that stuff works. <gasps> Maybe that'll be a big reveal. Those uh, turn the camera. And it didn't crash, you know, like it's an Obsidian game. I was a little. <laughs> You know, so, so there's that. Well, I, love, right. I, love, I love Obsidian, but there's some of their technical track records a little spotty. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I'm sure there'll be some, you know, horrible progress breaking bug. Maybe. I don't know. But it, it seemed to run totally fine. Like, it, it was it was really well put together. When is this, when is this releasing? It's out it's in like, late March. Yeah. Like, Man. Like, right uh, at the end of the quarter. They kinda. just put out the Gone Gold announcement, so it's yeah. done. March is happening. Uh, yeah, March has got games, for sure. What is, and is it? Is there a PC version? Yeah, I was playing it on PC. Okay, it's, it's old consoles and PC. Oh no, no uh, new no, consoles. Not the, not the new ones, huh. sadly. No huh. new consoles. Yeah. No new consoles. Box them up. Get out. That's right. Your, get out your PS3. And 360. I mean, kind of, a bit. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm playing Strider over there on, on new consoles. Yeah. I guess I, that's coming out on old consoles. Too, yeah, there's but, games coming out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to see that this still exists. You know, after all the THQ trouble. Yeah, you know, yeah, that it, that it, it made up, it out and doesn't look like... Yeah, I mean, well, with the time they took, I mean, obviously they didn't just go like, all right, we bought this thing, let's just fucking ship it because we bought it for cheap and we're going right. to make money regardless. Like, you know, they, they seem to be doing right yep. by it. Uh, though I think some of that might have been contractual with the South Park guys. Probably, like, yeah. Hey, sure. have to do what we want. I'm sure they've got some leverage something, in that deal. Something, you know. Uh, but yeah, like if if you're if you're in the South Park and the RPG stuff seems really good, like you're probably going to be pretty into this game. Yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm curious it. about it because, like I said, I you know it has been a very long time since I've watched South Park, and but it always seemed like I, I, I'm happy that it still exists. Yeah, I was never like completely burned out on it. I just sort of fell out of it completely. Right. Well, they don't they don't they don't it doesn't overstay its welcome. You know, like they only do their seasons are like what 12, 13 episodes long. Yeah. And they only do them, you know, every every few months. Like it's not on all the time, you know. Right. Yeah. So they're they're not uh, they're not running it into the ground the way they could have. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, yeah, show's still good, I think. Cool. And this game seems kind of awesome. So. All right. Yeah. Cool, Brad. That's South Park. That's South Park, Brad. That's what, that's what I saw. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah.